The mission of the Houston Forensic Science Center is to provide top quality forensic services to the citizens of Houston and to do so in a timely fashion too. In 2002, there were a series of media reports regarding serious and significant problems with the HPD Crime Lab's DNA section. And over the next decade or so, those bad headlines kept on coming. HPD really did make improvements to the lab, but they weren't enough. They were band-aids, they were quick fixes. When the National Academy of Sciences recommended that crime labs should be made independent, the HPD lab was a perfect guinea pig example. And you know, to HPD's credit, they embraced that recommendation and decided to move forward with a move towards independence. The whole idea of independence in context with the Houston Forensic Science Center has to do with its commitment to science and science only. It enables the examiners to be an advocate for the data and the data only, thereby protecting against any cognitive biases that may occur. The independence allows us to control the financial mechanisms, the procurement, the hiring practices. All of those things go into our ability to change procedures, to apply sound science to what we're doing, and sound business practices. We've implemented several changes at the Houston Forensic Science Center when we became an independent government corporation. One of those is that we move from a command and control type of governance structure to one in which we push leadership as far down into the organization as possible. Another is that we have much greater flexibility now when it comes to hiring and procurement. There's a lot less bureaucracy now, which makes our ability to move as a business model moves in new directions quicker. In 2014, when the Houston Forensic Science Center took over the operations, it faced a legacy backlog of sexual assault kits of about 6,600 untested kits. In order to clear those kits, well, it really was a multi-stakeholder, multi-pronged approach. So the center received funding from the federal government, the center received additional funding from Houston City Council, and worked with all of the various stakeholders to have those kits tested. We have reduced our turnaround times by 50%. All the while, during that same time, our requested work has gone up 30%. Over the last several years, we've made several key improvements to the firearms section of the Houston Forensic Science Center. Number one is that we've hired additional trained firearms examiners. Number two is that we've really committed ourselves to linking firearm crimes through ballistic imaging technology. And the way we've done that is that we've hired and trained additional staff to function in that specific capacity. Another thing that we've done, and this is really critical, is that we are relentless in our pursuit of quality. And what I mean by that is that in addition to the blind or the um, proficiency testing that goes on every year for examiners, what we've done is we've implemented two different types of blind testing here uh, that go above and beyond what's required of us in order to combat different types of cognitive biases. The controlled substances section of the Houston Forensic Science Center has seen an awful lot of improvement over the years. Even before the uh, formation of Houston Forensic Science Center and when we took over operations, um, performance was improving. At the worst point for the controlled substances section, they were 42,000 cases backlogged. Uh, now the section operates at an average 11 day turnaround time. So this has been the work of a lot of very dedicated individuals in changing processes and improving processes. But it's also been a partnership with the DAs and with Houston Police Department to understand the necessary work that needs to be worked and how to best prioritize that work. The Houston Forensic Science Center is committed to the concept of accreditation simply because it speaks to quality, credibility, consistency, and efficiency. The pool of talent and experience is very small because these particular disciplines are relatively new to the scientific community and there is a demand to process mobile phones and smart devices and computers. Everything is taped as well, so the surveillance that we gather as well to, to process and analyze those particular things. Since 2014, when the Houston Forensic Science Center took over the operations of the lab, seven of the eight divisions have received international accreditation, and the center has cleared backlogs, it's improved turnaround times, and it's really instituted some cutting-edge uh, science that no other labs are, are doing. 
The Houston Forensic Science Center has served as a model for other forensic science organizations around the country in that our independence gives us a lot more flexibility and freedom to operate in ways that really help us to meet the needs of our customers in a much more agile and nimble way that traditional crime labs uh, typically don't have that freedom to do so.